okay chalo we'll start so i am assuming all of you are preparing for the 2025 okay so the session is meant for the people who are preparing for the 2025 and the, all of them are beginners so addressing 2025 appearing candidates this session is designed in such a way to start everything from the scratch so like i mentioned we will discuss in this session what are the books to be followed when to start current affairs how to start the current affairs so we will discuss here so books list then current affairs when to start current affairs answer writing so what all queries students generally will have i'll answer all of them because i've been mentoring this thing so just to introduce about myself so i'm atik uh, so I'm in this teaching field since last six years. Uh, I myself have given six mains and uh, two interviews. Okay. And I also given state uh, interview as well, state BSc interviews as well. So currently I do not have any items. My items are over. Okay. I am, I'm just having the king method role. Okay. No more trying to become king. So we will discuss these aspects and also uh how to uh, deal with essay and then uh, when to study ncrts how many times to study ncrts and uh, people will ask me about short notes how to make short notes should i take coaching should i take coaching then how to balance preparation with studies or college with studies or work okay so broadly i'll try to cover these things so once i cover these aspects most of the things will be answered all the questions which you generally have will be answered after covering these sessions, if you guys still have any kinds of doubts and concerns, those things will be taken care. Hmm. Okay, test series for prelims and mains. Okay, yeah, ethics. Of course, ethics. When to start ethics. And about the test series. So this is not just any random session. Trust me. Yeah, Ravi, I'll do this for the APPSC uh, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, this is for the UPSC 2025. Hmm. Uh, those things we will discuss tomorrow. So this is not just randomly uh, taking any kind of session. So I'm putting my all my experience here to tell you what works and what does not work. Okay. So I have given almost my um, uh, means all, all the times. So I know what actually works for the prelims and what are the areas, conceptual areas that are, are required to be mastered and what are the areas that generally we ignore and should be prepared and how we should plan and structure our preparation okay so before i start let us discuss first what book list we need to do so this thing this pdf i will share with you do not worry uh, just uh, have an idea okay yeah csat this is also important topic i believe some changes will happen but we'll see okay so, okay, book list. So, starting with the history. So, these are the generally book list that are preferred. History, ancient history, R.S. Sharma, medieval by Satish Chandra. But however, Tamil Nadu NCRT. See, these are the books which are having the good and very detailed content. And Tamil Nadu NCRT, this is little bit in a simplified manner. And uh, content will be given in a chronological order. What happens with uh, with the new NCRTs is the content is given uh, not in a chronological manner. Okay, it is more given some kind of theme wise. So when you study only either this or this, you don't have to study both things. You can pick up one book. Let me complete uh, Suresh. Uh, these are the NCRTs, old NCRT books. Okay, however, these books have been made as a 
standard books. These are the NCIT books I'm talking about. Okay, prefer, you don't have to go for this, any thick other books, other other books. Only NCITs I'm talking about. Old NCIT. These are the old NCITs. Either this or Tamil Nadu NCIT. Okay, you can pick any one. It does not matter. And then new NCIT. New NCIT has some kinds of facts. Those things will be helpful to you. But without understanding this uh, chronology, what has happened in the history? How do you understand the history? What is considered to be Stone Age? What is considered to be Copper Age, Bronze Age? How the human civilizations evolved? What is different is between the civilization what and the culture? What is civilization and culture? Once the essay was asked on this. And why Indus Valley civilization is called as a civilization? And why the Indus Valley civilization, may, certain aspects are still being continued. So these conceptual things, you will find it here. here. But however, UPSC will also ask certain kinds of facts that you will find here. So my suggestion is you need to do these things first and then you will go for this. This is with regards to the ancient history, medieval history. Then coming to the modern history. Modern history for the conceptual understanding, you can read the uh, NCRT Bipin Chandra. There is a very thick book of uh, Bipin Chandra apart from the NCRT. Uh, so maybe, uh, but, but I won't suggest you. From the exam point of view, spectrum was more than enough. To understand, to gain the concepts, you can study other books also. Bipin Chandra is there. Uh, one more uh, book is there. I, what, what, I was not able to recall the name. Like uh, from Plassey to Partition. Plassey to Partition. Now see, these books are good. I won't deny that. I myself have studied these books. Okay, like since I have given uh, almost, I have exhausted my all the items. So initial one, two years, I studied these things. Then I felt bored. What will I do? So I just uh, took other books, studied this book also, studied Ram Chandra Guha also, Plasi to Partition Partition also, but it did not add any value. Let me tell you, there are people who cleared in first attempt itself. That means the people who had half the knowledge of me or even less than me, they have cleared. So my point here is expansion of books, knowledge base is not required. So much of knowledge base is not required. First, you have to gain the conceptual clarity and stick to yourself with limited number of books. For me, the spectrum is considered to be a very good book. Nowadays, nowadays, thick spectrum book is coming, but there is a, some uh, one more a small decent one, okay, which uh, used to be there. I think it's still there in the market. Uh, this is not that thick. This is a small decent book. Now, currently, if I'm not wrong, some 700 pages spectrum or 800 pages spectrum is coming. That is not required. That much of heaviness is not required. Very brief book. This book will... Uh, will be sufficient enough for you for the your modern history. Post-independence India, vision is, and even the society aspect, vision is. These three things are required for the ancient medieval and modern India. I'll come to you, okay, when we, sh we should start studying the history. I'm just discussing about the books. When should I start? Which book? Okay, I'll discuss these things, but I'm just giving you a brief outline about the books that needs to be followed. Okay, let me, I'll also add more points here. Okay. Now see, I told you, these are the books that you need to follow. Aresh Sharma, Satish Chandra, and the Bipan Chandra. But what happens is, this will give you concepts. But now you yourself have to find out from this, which are more important for the exam point of view. Now for this, you, you need to do some extra effort, like doing the PYQs. And then identifying which topics are being repeated. Or if you have any coaching material which has done this job for you, who have summarized these things for you, like from the ancient India, med medieval India, and also added some additional inputs. Like because these NCRTs are limited in nature, there would be many facts that are missed uh, that are missing, and UPSC will ask so many so many other facts. So if any coaching institution has done any job and it is available in the market, then you can do. If you are doing any classes and if they are providing you this material, first do the class material. Then you go for this thing. Because once you read the class, watch the class and do the class notes, then it will be easy for you to understand this ancient India, medieval India concepts. 
so when you are doing the coaching and the classes always for every subject first you do the coaching classes whatever the classes that you have enrolled for their classrooms then you go for this this will fast up your preparation why are you doing coaching you are doing coaching or classes in order to speed up your preparation right so that you don't do the um, redundant areas don't study areas which are not required all this so first preference should be given to the your class notes and then to these books so this is the one more addition point that you have to keep in mind and this be uh, the, and this is valid for all the subjects and while doing this ancient and medieval after doing this chronology about history about the political aspects then itself you have to also need to do culture art and culture now an introduction to in uh, fine arts indian art ncert is there you need to do this ncert and if you need to know little bit more nios material also is there but if you cannot do two things so do this basic book and you need to do selectively from the indian art and culture by nitin singhania this must thick book i am telling you honestly i have never studied this nitin singhania when i used to write exams okay i used to study ncrts and i used to pick up any coaching material like here see <clears throat> indian polity when i used to study indian polity i used to study extensively m puri uh, uh here here so m puri notes is available in the market but when i study the m puri notes after a year it completely turned into the my notes because i have done lot of additions to what sir has given in the notes so in this way i used to do like i also said here i used to pick up any coaching material that can simplify my job even while doing the ancient india i'll pick up any reference book that is available in the market that can uh, suit my demands like i have also gone through this balian sir's <coughs> balian's history not material material is available in the market i have gone through the balian sir's material but it was not looking good balian's uh, ancient uh, balian's art and culture balian's art and culture and world history notes is there notes handwritten class notes i have gone through them so but i'm not suggesting you to do this i'm saying any material you can keep it as a reference book so because these guys they will try to simplify these things whatever the uh, material uh, is uh, most important they will try to keep those things more concise in the notes so you can use that thing as a reference if you are already doing some classes that will be your prime source of reference okay this is for the uh, uh, ancient medieval now india after gandhi by ramchandra guha again thick book what is the use i don't find any use not required uh, i i would suggest go for the vision is uh, people will say are do original books standard books no don't you have to understand the concepts uh, and, and uh, exit this upsc cycle okay earlier there used to be things okay very uh, like uh, though uh, books were not good but now these days i think institutions are also preparing very good books so you can refer them uh, later on uh, if unfortunately if you have given more attempts if you have more time you got selected you want to explore more then you can go for these kind of books or else uh, don't go for this thick academic kind of books even the bipan chandra bipan chandra is simple ncert is there okay you can simply read that and do this so these are the things that you need to do and even for the world history this is good for the normal lobby i studied but but i find vision is material material is available not handwritten notes here it is i'm saying material i found it is good and comprehensive they have covered everything uh, from uh, uh, like uh, from the time of uh, this uh, american independence uh, civil war, war in america then french revolution unification of germany unification of italy um, uh, uh, then uh, all those aspects have been covered world war 1 and world war 2 uh, they have covered it in the material so i find it this one is good okay this is with respect to the history aspect then coming to the geography in the geography questions will be asked from the gc leong but gc leong is very uh, very complicated book it is very difficult for you to understand if you have not done any classes and if you are a very beginner do not go for this book 
even in this book, the second part, especially the second part, the biomes part is only important. It's more important. In the first part, there are so many landforms. I'm telling you, even in the optional, we don't study those many landforms and they have never asked so, uh, those many landforms. So only the second part where they are talking about the cold climate and biomes, only that part is important. But if you have not done geography basics, do not go for this. First, read your basics. If you do not have the time, uh, okay, you can also first stick to this thing and you can just go for the exam and covering the mapping. Mapping always it is in the things in the news. Major, major things that comes in the news. Okay, but however, only doing NCRT will not be sufficient. Here, one more reference book will be PMFIS. But again, PMFIS is very thick book. You will find it very difficult. You have to do these things selectively. But it is a very good reference book. If you want to understand any concept, you can refer the PMFIS or even Lotus IS. There are, these are the two books that are available online on the market. PMFIS and the Lotus IS available in the market. Any one book, you can use it as a uh, reference online not book okay online it is available if you just search these things will come in but don't do uh, line after line they are very thick you will find very difficulty do this ncrts and for topic any for to any extra reference you can do it from this any one source okay now indian po uh, polity here uh, uh, the ncrt constitution at work and then Indian polity, Lakshmi Kant, and then uh, M. Puri. This M. Puri is more for more governance and uh, everything related to the polity. Okay, here in the Lakshmi Kant, you will only get the factual content for the prelims. That is not suitable for the mains. If you are doing only Lakshmi Kant, even for the mains, it is not going to help. You need to do either M. Puri. In the vision is you don't have the complete comprehensive book for the GS2. There are booklets are available for the GS2. You can do this thing also selectively, selective booklets or MPURI. Or like any one institution, whichever you feel. These days, many institutions are come doing their job because of competition. Everyone wants to provide best. If you find any one material that is covering it decently, you can stick to that. There is no problem. Mostly at least 70, 75 parts, 75 percentage will be covered. You can have another reference book. Whatever the part is not covered, you can do it from that. Even it is true same here. You are covering M. Puri, let's say. But M. Puri may be not able to cover all the aspects in a proper manner. Few areas might be left out. This would be your prime source. You will have one more source, second source. The topics that are not covered in M. Puri, you will try to cover in the vision eyes. Everyone is able to hear my audio voice. Manish said, I'm not able to hear. Everyone is able to hear my audio. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Manish, maybe problem from your end. Please check. Okay. So now we are moving to the economy. Now see guys, economy books are available. Vivek Singh, Ronald Sars book, Economic Survey and Budget. But I, I find students... Uh, feel a lot of difficulty when they pick up the books and start reading the economy. Economy and geography are two such areas which are not easy to do it by yourself. So, books reference are these things. But, as per my experience, understanding certain concepts like money supply, banking system, liquidity, uh, Basal norms. These are little bit technical in nature. IMF, uh, their funding capacity, funding patterns, even the national income concept. It is not as easy as it looks. What are the components that you include in the national income? What is the difference between the GDP and the growth rate? What is the actual and the real? Uh, what is the nominal? So all these things are slightly tricky and technical in nature. So by just simply picking up the book, it might be difficult for you. So this is the another caveat that you need to remember. But books wise, these two are more than enough. Here also again, you will pick up one as a major source. Few things will not be covered. You can do it from the Ronald Sir's notes. Then survey and the budget. 
But without doing Vivek Singh and Munal basic concepts of economy, you will not go for the survey and the budget. Now coming to the environment and ecology. Vaishali Anand, uh, Madam teaches in the Vajiram institution. Her book is good. This book is giving you conceptual clarity. When you compare with this thing with the Shankara, Shankara has more pre-oriented factual kind of concepts. I find Vaishali Anand Ma'am's book is giving you conceptual clarity. So this would be a better thing. And PMFIS, it is very comprehensive. Uh, after reading these concepts, PMFIS can be better area for you, for, for you to cover the environment and ecology. Science and technology, Ravi Agraha research notes. But uh, but when when you try to read this thing, like, like I've gone through this thing, so much bulky and uh, not uh, useful information is also there. Uh, like uh, many departments, like I felt uh, many areas are not that good. No, but still, this book covers many areas of the science and technology. At least you will, you will understand what are the areas that you need to cover in the science and technology. So the Ravi Agrahari book you can cover. And uh, if you don't understand any topic, Google search it. Apart from this, when you study for the uh, PT uh, prelims, two years PT 365 needs to be done. So this is for the concepts, but this book is not updated. So you will update it from the uh, vision is PT365 before the prelims. But however, you will be updating your uh, things from the vision is monthly magazine every uh, every month. Apart from this, international relationships. International relationships generally Hindu or Indian Express. But but this thing will be valid when you have uh, some, some basic material. You cannot just read the Hindu and Indian Express and go for the exam, right? So mains 365 for the IR related mains content, PT 365 for organizations and the bodies, it would be suitable for the IR. Okay. But again, the challenge here is when you are doing it by yourself, if you don't understand the concept, you will end up doing only factual information again and again. So these are the materials that are fine. If you have understood the concepts, there should be proper understanding of the con concepts. Why this thing is happening? Why today, let's say when the Palestine issue is happening uh, or Israel versus Palestine issue is happening, uh, why why India maintain such basic neutral stand? Uh, they don't go strong on the Israel or they don't completely take a side of the Israel. Again, it's the Palestine, they don't do, but somehow, but still India supports the Palestine issue. But they don't openly criticize Israel also. Why is that so? So you will only understand these things when you have the conceptual clarity. Okay, why why is that we have the problem with the China? Then uh, what kind of uh, preparedness we have? Like India says, uh, like once, like uh, when these things happen, okay, they will say, let's block the imports of China. We let's stop the importing items of China. But if we stop imports from the China, we are going to suffer. API, raw material that is required for manufacturing various um, the various medicines and drugs. You need some raw materials. Those APIs, most of them we import from the China. So if you stop imports, you are the one going to suffer. So, so many problems. So you, we cannot just go by the random things that are present in the newspaper. So conceptual clarity is important and IR is the most scoring area. Okay. Then ethics and integrity and aptitude. Atul Garg is more than enough and Mudit Jain PYQ. These two are more than enough. Current affairs, Hindu and Indian Express, you will study for 30, 30, 45 minutes and you will focus on monthly magazines, any one monthly magazine. However, you do not give up this 30 to 45 minutes of reading of newspaper. No matter what kind of current affairs you do, 30 to 45 minutes is required. Okay. So, uh, Previous year question papers. These are the must. This is must. India yearbook and all these things. These are the general references. And any one test series and government websites that you need to visit. Okay. But once your preparation is done, these are the after. After you have done some basic level of the preparation. Okay. So I am coming to the next aspect. So here I have generally given you the outline, the books list that you need to have with your self. I have not given you any strategy. I have not told you, I have not mentioned which subject you should start with, how much time you should allot, 
or when to start ethics or essay, I have not touched all these aspects. I have just mentioned the books list. And what is the better way of using the books I have mentioned? Okay. Uh, so in the books list, any doubt or confusion so far? Is it clear with the books list? Any doubt so far? Books list aspect is it clear? So which books we have to follow? Okay. Yeah. So now to summarize. So I have given books list for every subject. Okay, so this is this would be your standard books, be it NCRT or reference books. Like I also told you, you can also refer coaching institution materials. So it can be any material. Have two reference books, two books. Okay, one would be your primary reference book. Most of the things, let's say you are doing economy by Vivek Singh, that would be your primary book. If anything is missing, then second source will be your book. If you are doing classes, if you are doing classes, class notes should be your primary source. Second source can be anything which I have given from the standard books. Okay. NCRT is every one of you should do. Then for current affairs, I said monthly magazine of any institution and any one newspaper, I'm saying you, I'm telling you again, do not spend more than 30 to 40 minutes at the max at these phases. I'll come to this point again. Any one newspaper, one newspaper is enough. This is to develop the reading comprehension. I find students are finding difficulty uh, in reading this, uh, in, in doing this comprehension. So let's uh, do not go for so much simplification. Reading, reading this 30 minutes article will help you, will help you, will be helpful in the CSAT. General science questions not being asked, mostly they will be asked from the science and technology. There will be one unit, only one or two units that are uh, that are relevant from the NCRT uh, that, uh, that you can do. I forgot the NCRT class 11th, I guess the chapter numbers I need to see. Okay, that I will update it later on. But general science is not required. No questions are being asked. Only sometimes, rarely these days, they are asking cell wall kind of questions and all. But or else, mostly science and technology is the topic. Earlier, they used to ask, uh, like they used to ask the digestive system. Okay, they used to ask about the convex lens and concave lens, all these aspects they used to ask. Now they don't ask. Tamil Nadu history book, I said, like either Tamil Nadu history book or this thing. Or, the, or Tamil Nadu NCRT. Either uh, uh, old NCRT or Tamil Nadu. So you can pick up any one thing. Whichever you find comfortable. Okay. So these are the four, four major points that you need to keep in mind. Apart from this book list. Okay. So we will move to the next area. When to start? Which subject to start? Again, when should I do the ethics? When should I do the answer writing? All these things. Now let me uh, tell you. Okay. So first, mine optional, then it was geography. So that's why I teach uh, geography. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, I was saying, so if you are a beginner, completely if you are a beginner, now here, uh, there are two sets of people, okay, who have already some kind of preparation, okay, they have prepared, but they have somehow took the gap and they want to, uh, like they got some kind of gap or something and they are, they want, they are aiming for 2025. They have some kind of basic study already. Okay. These are, these are the, uh, okay, beginners, okay, some basic knowledge. So these are the two groups that are present here and there is there is one more category like other category who are doing the classes and who are doing the self-preparation 
and who are working or studying. So these are the group of different groups of people when you are when you is when we we come across while doing this uh, preparation. Now, if you are uh, if you are doing any kind of classes, for you the job is easy. You don't get distracted. When you do some kind of classes, mostly I believe the classes itself will take six to seven hours of time, watching the classes, preparing from the classes. You simply stick to this. Your class, class notes. And then once you do this thing, then the reference book which I have mentioned, like in the books list which we have done, that thing you will do. You don't have to uh, think more. Okay, people will generally do the overthinking. If you are doing some classes from any basic decent institution which is uh, having some kind of standard name, okay, like once when I when I did some kind of coaching, okay, uh, like then uh, have joined in some faltu institution. I always remember that institution uh, who took the money and they just uh, ran away, taking the, all the money 10 years back. Okay, so until and unless you have joined such kind of institutions, or else it is not a problem. You have some kind of trust in the institution. You have joined, you have paid money. They will do, if not 100% justice, 70 to 75% of the justice. So that part you should at least, you should get it from the institution which you have enrolled. This you need to do. Okay, so once you are doing this thing, uh, then in the rest of the time, you will be uh, doing the whatever the NCRTs and the standard books that you go, that you need to do. Okay, now the people who are the beginners or have the some basic knowledge or the people who are doing the self preparation. Now you guys, you need to plan. So what do I need to plan? First, you give yourself, if you are a complete beginner, first you give yourself one month of time. First, do the NCRT reading of all the subjects. One month time, NCRTs. Go through the NCRTs of all the subjects. Okay, first, first three days, our constitution at work. Then you do the Vipan Chandra. Okay, then you do uh, the geography. So, then you do a little bit of economy. So, spend some time on the NCRTs. So that you get subject knowledge or basic subject knowledge of everything. Don't think that once you study the NCRTs, you will get good in the NCRTs. No, NCRTs, but I suppose geography NCRT is very difficult to understand. They have given so much fragmented knowledge at one place. I'm not asking you to get to master NCRT in one month. No, that would be a foolish, foolish kind of in, uh, insights to you. No, you do one reading, I'm saying. Just some basic idea, basic idea and basic awareness. Then after that one month, okay, you uh, it would be somewhere in the month of May. Now you have the target, even the people who are doing the coaching and who is not doing the coaching, for you guys, time is same. Yes, Manohar, I'll do. Now for you guys, time is same from May till December. In this time period, you need to finished off at least uh, your mains portion at least I am saying at least 80 percentage of your mains portion and rest of the portion completely okay uh, not completely rest also at least 70 percentage so if you can do this thing then from January to April, this rest, which is a pre-oriented, that part can be consolidated. But what is the ideal situation? Ideally, before prelims, before next prelims, before next, before 2025 pre pre uh, prelims, ideal situation I am saying you, you should have covered 100% of the syllabus. You should have given some at least few number of tests, few tests of mains. And also optional. This is the ideal scenario. Okay. If 
could not at least 80 percentage or 75 percentage of the main should be completed before the 2025 prelims. Now you have to set your targets accordingly from the May month till December month. And while doing this thing, you will divide your day into two subjects. Say you are starting things from the May 1st. Starting with the polity and the science and technology. So half day you will study for the polity. Then half day for the science and technology. How will I study? First, when you are reading the polity. In the first reading, you just glance through. Okay, maybe uh, maybe okay. Uh, you have a uh, first in the first 10 days, you are... Uh, you are studying some kind of Lakshmi Kant, uh, polity of fundamental rights, all these things. You will run through the pages. You may not be able to understand. But again, then you have to do the second reading. So like this, you will divide the polity for one month. You will not cover entire syllabus. You will cover around 50 to 60 percentage of the syllabus. Same is done with the science and technology. Okay. Then you move to the other subject. Okay, you will do, you will take up some other subject, say, say, geography, history and the economy you have taken or environment you have taken or geography you have taken. So like this, you divide your day into two subjects. Later on, I'll give this detailed strategy, I'll come up. So I'm just giving you idea. And you will make such kind of plan till December. Picking up the two subjects. If you are doing self-preparation, if you don't understand, for the topic, watch any video content. But if you simply rely your preparation on the video like YouTube, you will be lost. And if you do not have any kind of material already ready with you, you will be lost. You should have some strategy already before sitting. If you start your preparation, searching on some telegram or YouTube, you will be lost. First, you should have a clear idea what you are studying. Then if you see the content, then it will be clear for you. Okay, this should be your uh, idea. Then next, after this thing, what should I do with the optional? Now there are various rumors that optional can be removed next year. Government has come up with the committee and committee said remove the optional. Uh, let's do up with the optional. So wait till uh, at least till uh, August or September. You do more general studies. So by then it will be clear whether options will be there or not. Then you can start the optional preparation. Now while making plan for these subjects of the general studies and all, keep essay uh, till postpone essay till you cover at least 50% of syllabus. You will not be in a position to write essay. Essay do not need any content. If someone is saying I am giving material for the essay, they are just fooling you. What all things that you study for the general studies, that is the content. I always get one of the highest scores in the essay. I have never studied any book for the essay, nor my English is always super good, uh, nor I have used in any kind of quotes or anything. But once I got highest marks and most of the times I get above average marks less than the highest. Not above average, good marks less than the highest. If it is uh, 145 is the highest, I used to get 132, 133, 131 like this. Once it was 165 was highest, 157 was my score. So without any additional preparation for the essay. But does not mean that I have not practiced anything. I, I, I do the writing practice. Content wise, Whatever the things I study in my history or ethics, that was my content. So till you cover 50% of the syllabus, do not go for the essay. Answer writing. At least, if at least two subjects or 30% of the syllabus, at least you finish. Or there will not be any use when you write the answer writing. However, you can go through the questions. Say you have, you are studying the geography. 
when you are studying the geography what will you study by going through the questions mains as well as a prelims questions it will give you direction okay when studying the plate tectonics i need to study what kind of landforms that can be created by the convergent plate boundaries i need to study the pacific ring of fire or when i am doing the science and technology okay i need to study about the three stage nuclear cycle or i need to understand about the advantages and disadvantages of the nuclear program applications of the nanotechnology how will i understand these are the areas that i need to focus only when you go through this mains and prelims questions you don't have to solve but you must go through the pyqs and even while studying also you need to go through this so that you streamline your preparation you keep your preparation in order or else you will be lost your preparation should be in the orderly fashion so for that pyqs mains and prelims questions are very important okay so this another aspect which i wanted to give you the broad outline uh if you are a working aspirant or a student you need to extend your timeline see if you are only able to take out 3 to 4 hours it is very difficult i am saying you need at least 7 hours of preparation at least i am saying on an average in an year 9 hours of preparation is required on an average i am saying some days you will study 12 hours some days you might be studying 5 hours okay some days you are studying 9 hours so on an average it is 9 hours i am not counting sunday sunday one day break is is needed now in order to match these hours if you are working or if you are studying something some pg some uh, degree college or anything you accordingly you fix your target after two years and if you are in the still in the graduation phase don't overburden yourself my dear enjoy your college life just one or two hours you spend on the ncrts one hour one and a half hour or weekly 3 to 4 hours because even the things that you study in your graduation are important like say if you are if you have reached the interview stage in your early attempts they will ask you in the interview board they will ask you questions from your graduation if the score is less they will ask you why the score is less if you say i have studied for the upsc they will kick you out so give your time for the graduation also properly spend your time with your friends there is a time any way after graduation you will build the stress give you a little bit time for the preparation not just preparation for the your uh, time period only one or two hours you can take once the once the phase is over then you can come into the uh, preparation mode if you are working aspirant like i said you have to extend your 3 to 4 hours either 7 hours or you have to plan it for the two years now if you are self preparing and if you do not have any kind of background you are from engineering background no background means you do not have any people from your family circle who have cleared for the upsc exam and uh, uh, you you have not done any kinds of arts kind of studies okay you are studying from some kind of engineering and science background in that case uh, it is very challenging for you to cover things in one year whoever says teaching uh, coaching is waste self preparation is important they must have already done some kind of coaching or they must be having some kind of background studies for two years or three years whoever have covered even in the first attempt also they must be there must be people who have covered cleared civils from the in their family circle friend circle or they have they might be studying from long back doing self preparation completely without any kind of classes and all it can be challenging doing it in one year is definitely a challenging thing okay so this thing you have need to know most of the times what i happen is when i uh, talk to the students more, like they would be lacking clarity in very very basic fundamental things say very fundamental things like why the western parts of the continents are deserts these are certain basic things what is judicial review even till today i never study the polity since ages but there are certain basic concepts which i will never forget so those concepts has to be imprinted in your brain cag is it a constitutional body or a statutory body will you get confused no you know what cag is role meant for what election commission is meant for in the environment 
will you forget what is ecosystem what is biodiversity biodiversity if biodiversity will be high in the uh, high altitude or low altitude will you get confused no if your concepts are clear there are certain basic concepts you should not get confused i see students will be lacking that concepts when they do the self preparation either they will be not focusing on those concepts they will not understand those kind of conceptual clarity or they done uh, they do coaching from some some fake institutions or they will not study properly okay so these would be areas that you should avoid that should not happen like my my personal experience like i used to study 12 13 hours those days but like i told you some some ias officer has suggested and i done some wrong institution and uh, so 12 to 13 hours was not productive so uh, i did in a wrong direction all the preparation uh, i was not able to understand the concepts so finally i didn't get through okay so that should not happen even if you study 12 to 13 hours that should be qualitative and firstly 12 to 13 hours not possible i used to wake up at 4 am compromising the sleep and uh, while, while studying i used to uh, dro- uh, have the drowsiness and all okay so uh, that is waste you pre- you sleep 7 to 9 hours and prepare effectively for 9 hours that is more than enough even if you consistently prepare for 8 hours that is going to add a lot of value just before the exam you can take it to 9 hours or 10 hours that's it the people who have cleared i'm telling you they have done only this much no one can study 12 hours 14 hours 16 hours not possible even while working also when i try to stretch beyond 12 hours after one point is not getting sustainable okay it is it is uh, uh, defeating the purpose itself okay so these things will be there this misguidance will be there uh, so this is the another aspect that you need to uh, clear so when should i start the current affairs first you need to do the statics static part well do your static well don't run behind current affairs if your static is well now see now i have very good concepts for me newspaper reading will take 20 minutes entire one month current affairs will take one day for me the reason is i am good at static i know everything about the upsc so even if i uh, lose my track even if i don't study current affairs for 2 3 months i'll just sit for 3 to 4 days and i'll update all the things that are required with the current affairs reason is my static concepts are very good if the static concepts are very good no one can stop you in the prelims so static and basic concepts crystal clear conceptual clarity you will be unstoppable and definitely will reach till interview there little bit improvisation is required in the means fetching some half mark one mark extra how what are the things that is required now i have done so many mistakes so my intention is you guys need not do those mistakes my journey was hectic uh, frust- uh, lot of with a lot of frustration uh, painful so i want to reduce that frustration and painful to the people so that's my job as a mentor so as a mentor i will be like in the initial phases here in this phase i will be able to tell you do this thing do that thing you should follow this book and all but role of mentor is limited i will be able to tell you do this polity do this subject do this subject from this topic do this topic but i will not be able to tell you concepts right concepts you have to do it by yourself far from the faculties or any classes so that is a aspect that you need to keep be it with any mentor i'm saying not just me okay that is a another aspect that you need to keep in your mind hmm okay now csat many people are doing problem with the csat but tell me let me tell you csat is not that difficult okay the uh, what happens is uh, like uh, the people why last year did not clear was there are certain questions some some very difficult questions are being uh, there okay the people who are good with the aptitude they tried solving these questions and they got stuck there are people who are who know only limited things they they gone through those limited things they know they have there are there are only few number of questions maybe hardly 20 easy questions that solve from the aptitude and logical reasoning they were able to see these questions they solved them and they cleared and then the reading comprehension was easy they cleared uh but the people who did not clear was who did not have the enough practice to identify these 20 easy questions only if you have practiced then only you will be able to identify these 20 questions from all the 80 questions right or else you will not be there you will not be able to do 
or the people who are good at my aptitude and all, they have not done this basic exercise thinking that they are good. So they were also not able to identify these 20 questions. They got somehow stuck in these 40 questions and they, uh, they could not. Reading comprehension, the comprehending skills that has to develop over a period of time. That's why I'm asking you to read the editorials for 20 to 30 minutes. This is not for the current affairs. This will help you in building the reading comprehension. So you do you do those set of basic units that are there for the arithmetic and reasoning. From now itself, weekly a lot, some three hours, three to five hours, three to five hours weekly, I'm saying. That should be enough. By the time of December itself, you will be good with the C set. Not best, good enough. That should be your strategy. Now coming to the ethics. Ethics should start when you do all the other basic subjects. If you start ethics first, you will not understand anything. When I ask you, what are the ethical concerns with the nanotechnology, stem cells? Uh, you need to understand what is the concept of the science and technology. You need to understand what is data issues, data privacy from the GS2 and governance. You need to understand what is the culture of India. Like say, mitochondria, three parent baby. Now, my, in this, there is a problem in the mitochondria. So we take a donor's mitochondria. But so then finally, baby will be having DNA received from the three, three parents. Since you are getting DNA from the three parents, so that baby is having a three parent. Now there would be a cultural problems in India, a country like India, okay, to accept that three parents, child is having the three parents. In the same way, problem of surrogacy, ethical issues in the surrogacy. So you will not be in a position to write the answers without knowing what our culture is, what is the science and technology concept is, what is governance and what is the economy of India. So if someone is telling you do ethics, do essay, without with the basic knowledge, they are misguided. Okay. So these things you need to keep in mind. Uh, okay. Uh, and then short notes. When should I do the short notes? Short notes will help me to the clear preparation. Please. No, don't make any short notes. Short notes you will do only when you are doing the preparation for fourth or fifth time of revision. So this will happen after some detailed preparation. In the initial one reading, you take up any book, just read once. Second reading, you underline. Third reading, you revise the underlined things. After some few months, fourth or fifth reading, you might have studied. Okay, let's say now you have, I said about the surrogacy only. You might have studied surrogacy in the current affairs vision as magazine or some test series paper and your static book. Now you your content got diversified. Now you are revising. You have got the content already. Now you are making short notes by yourself. Okay. So what is surrogacy? Okay. Wow. What are the postures? Why it should be allowed? Negatives. Why it should not be allowed? Okay. Somewhere in one page I'll make. Will I make it for every topic? If you, if you keep on doing this work, you will end up becoming a content writer, content developer for the UPSC coaching institutions. No. For only few selected topics, set of topics while doing preparation itself. This will be helpful in for you recalling the memory and all. So you will do during the preparation itself but you will not make a target that i have to make content for everything like just like a same kind of task people will be sitting and doing the short notes and wasting up of months time no don't do that please okay so these are the basic aspects that students should keep in mind during their uh, preparation so uh, i have covered uh, yeah, everything uh, related to the um, uh, preparation strategy newspaper current affairs uh, the, those aspects. Okay, uh, so uh, these things that I wanted to cover. Now, now I'm also planning, okay, probably I'm planning for current affairs from the May month. So this current affairs will be monthly kind of current affairs. So I'm planning this current affairs, a kind of one-stop solution where you don't have to refer any magazine and all. So that you can, uh, this is for the 2025 people. Maybe these guys who are interested, who uh, who also wanted to do, okay, you can also refer this thing, this aspect or any mentorship. I'm also planning for some kind of mentorship. But like I said, mentorship has its own limitation. I will not be able to teach you classes, teach you content there. So what you can expect from the mentorship is a direction, guidance what to be studied okay uh, when you are stuck okay but when let's say when i was stuck in my preparation no one were there to tell me uh, that coaching institution was fake or no one were there to tell me uh, that uh, do not read that book or that book so that that will mentorship will be able to 
tell you okay so these are the general uh, concepts or things that i wanted to cover in this session apart from this uh, any other doubts or concerns you guys have now i am ready to take your doubts Uh, see, if you are doing some kind of classes for one subject, stick to some those classes and those notes. Once those note, that notes is covered, those topic is covered, then you will do the PYQs. Once you do the PYQs, you solve the test paper questions. You can unmute yourself, Arun Kumar. Now you will do the test series paper once you finish the subject. After finishing the good amount of some 50, 60 percent of the preparation, then only you join some kind of test series or else don't join without finishing 50 percent of the preparation. First, do these things. First, prepare, finish the subject. While doing the subject itself, for analysis, you will do the PYQ. Once you cover entire subject of P plus PYQs uh, or any small, small assignments, then you do the sectional test. Okay, this is how you will cover one subject thoroughly. I have already discussed Aryan how to do the answer writing. After doing some 30% of the preparation only, you start the answer writing. You will pick up questions from the mains, UPSC, PYQs. Okay, you will pick up the questions, you will start writing. Then after finishing those things, you will pick up any test series questions. Then you will start writing. You will write questions only from the topic you have studied. You have studied land acquisition. And if you are writing a question for the judicial review, it is not going to work. Right from the land acquisition itself. Clear? Standard books is a reference. Agar aap कोई कंटेंट से पढ़ रहे हो कोई कर रहे हो पहले उस क्लासरूम को अच्छे से जस्टिस करो उस मटेरियल को अच्छे से पढ़ो डू दैट मटेरियल वेल डू दैट नोट्स वेल डू द नोट्स दैट यू हैव प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम द क्लास एज़ वेल देन यू कैन गो फॉर द रेफरेंस बुक देयर शुड बी सम स्ट्रेटजी डू नॉट डू रैंडमली थिंग्स यू विल नॉट गेट मॉडल आंसर्स मे बी फॉर रेफरेंस मे बी यू कैन सी द टॉपर आंसर कॉपीज फ्रॉम द वेरियस वेबसाइट्स मॉडल आंसर कॉपीज तो आपको कैसे मिलेगा मतलब मे बी कुछ टेस्ट सीरीज में मे बी दे माइट गिव यू द बेस्ट आंसर कॉपीज लाइक दैट बट मॉडल आंसर नहीं होगा देर इज नो मॉडल आंसर या समन वॉज स्पीकिंग प्लीज गो हेड समन वॉन्ट टू स्पीक any any other question any other doubt uh you, if you that's what i said sureka if you slowly solely rely on the youtube lectures you will be lost you should have your basic direction then for specific things few things you can search let's say you are studying economy you are not able to understand balance of payment for that topic you can refer the youtube if you are completely relying on youtube you will be lost thank you aran thank you yes my telegram content i'm like i alone do the content i'm really posting good content you can realize uh, you can use that as a kind of value addition on the telegram very uh, few telegram channels provide the value addition so you will be anyway following monthly magazines and all just like a instagram use my telegram just to scroll some good content yeah thank you thank you any other question you guys have hmm. other questions any other doubts you guys wanted to ask how is the session you guys found it fruitful sir good evening sir 
கிரெடிட்ஸ் <laughs> but this thing has happened because rbi has tightened the guidelines for the nbfcs now why the rbi has tightened the guidelines for the nbfcs what are the nbfcs what are the different types of the nbfcs in what way nbfcs receive the funds so you need to have this conceptual clarity if you try to read this nbfc then you will not understand this is the first point so so what if you are in the beginning phase if you are if you, have, you just read you don't try to understand you just read so you need to understand something is happening with the nbfc later on you will be able to connect things this is the first thing that you need to keep in mind you will be first focusing on understanding what is this nbfc is what is this rbi is why the rbi is trying to regulate the nbfc then coming to the second aspect no uh, making the notes don't make the notes there are so much of current affairs you will have monthly magazine you will underline it you will revise the same magazine later on already these guys they are, these institutions are spending huge money to pay paying someone to make materials so that you guys can study they are clubbing various content even i am doing the same thing so use this content okay the, you don't have to make notes like after you are uh, some uh, like i said to after if you have given so many attempts okay you got bored reading this material you have got some own innovation and all then you can do or else now at this phase don't do. okay sir mm. thank you sir yeah yeah you are welcome any other questions and any other doubts Thank you, Sari Jun. Thank you for your feedback. If you guys have any other doubts, uh, we can extend or we can end the session. We will do such kind of frequent sessions. Uh, and uh, I'll also update about the current affairs program that I'm going to uh, plan. Okay, it would be affordable. It, uh, it won't be, uh, it won't be a uh, hectic heavy. Okay, so it would be a decent term. Sir, firstly, I covered a subject uh, like quality and make short notes from the classes. Then you say related to BYQ. Can I? After that, go for the. Uh, you don't make short notes, okay? Or uh, you will do make the short notes later on. Just firstly, you have to cover the subject. While covering the subjects, you will first go through the BYQ questions. You will not solve them. You will go through the BYQs. You will understand which area is more important. Then you will cover the subject. Then again, you will solve the BYQs. After doing those BYQs, if still required, you will do the any sectional tests of any coaching institution. right while covering that subject from any coaching material itself when you are doing the classes you will have that side reference book i told you in the starting primary source and secondary source primary source will be your class material or class notes second source will be the additional standard book i have told you okay maybe you were not there at that time thank you arun any other question any other doubt you're welcome kushal okay guys yeah hope you guys like the session we'll meet soon have a good weekend enjoy your sunday enjoying also is important so that you get again fired up for monday okay have good time take care bye 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 guys good night everyone we'll meet back soon yeah bye bye aren't Yeah good night everyone take care soon take care everyone bye bye catch you soon again